Hey everybody, this is Donald with Johnny's Used Cars. Today I'm going to show this 2009 Toyota Sienta. It's got uh, approaching 99,000 kilometers on it, which is about 61,500 miles, almost 62,000 miles. Let's take a look around. We'll show the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos. It's going to answer a lot of your questions. So things like the JCI financing, road tax, etc. I go over all that and more in my video. So um, please bear with me until the end. And we'll get through through this, okay? This uh, Toyota Sienta is a compact seven passenger vehicle in the 500 series category. Sorry, I'm kind of crunched in here. We moved it in here before I had a chance to uh, do it in the open. Um, so, and it's in the 500 series category, which is the midsize category. Road tax per year is going to be, uh, I'm sorry, 7,500 yen, which is about $68 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May time frame. So if you don't want to wait through any lines, stop by Johnny's Used Cars after April 1st and we'll go ahead and sit you with that. Uh, there are two ways that you can pay for this. The first one is US dollars cash outright, or you can take advantage of zero percent financing for 24 months with zero down. Either way, we're good to go. But if you want to put something down to reduce your overall monthly payments, you can do that as well. Uh, before we go inside, I will show you the rain guards. We're going to show you this first. It uh, looks like it was touch painted right here. There you go. You can see that a little better. So now I'll show you the rain guards. Rain guards uh, will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit. This way, if it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. But the more important feature and benefit that is, is going to give you that cross ventilation. Um, to get that extremely hot air, hot air out. And always get yourself a good windshield visor, okay? So we'll jump on in, let's start this thing. Alrighty. So, 98,572 on the odometer. Uh, show, show you a couple of warning lights. So that one right there is your emergency brake. It's not a low pressure tire gauge, we get that a lot, but it is a kick type, so when you kick it, disengage, it goes away, kick it again, comes right back on, okay? That flashing one, obviously your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do get tickets on and off base. And then the one to the right of that is your uh, temperature gauge. So it's going to be blue when the engine's cool. When the engine warms up, it's going to uh, go away. And then if it's overheating, it's going to be red. So be on the lookout for that. Other than that, just a very simple um, instrument cluster. Uh, straightforward, but it isn't straight ahead. Okay? Uh, it is off to the center. Uh, because in front... I'm sorry, oops. Yeah, this one doesn't have that, but um, again, I'm not gonna uh, assume why they put it there. I, I have my guesses, but we'll go from there. Um, we'll stick to the left here, uh, right in the middle. Here you have your um, your radio. This one does not have a rear camera. Air conditioning controls, shifter. Um, you got a cup holder, uh, power outlet, non-smoking ashtray, and a compartment here for some storage. Off to the left here, above the glove box, you have a little uh, compartment, or it is the glove box, I guess. And then you have a compartment here as well. And that one uh, is a cup holder. You, you can push this down. All right. And I'm extended all the way. And then you do have a little uh, um, compartment there for some storage on each door panel. Uh, let's go. Let make sure the seat's all the way down. Let's go. Um, your passenger space. That's your passenger space right there. You do have a red road, red road flare hanging out. And this one right here is your electronic toll collector. It works like Easy Pass in the States for the um, expressway here if you're able to get the card for it, okay? And then this is going to be my, my space over here. I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. Um, I'm comfortable driving as is. Uh, I can slide this up if, if uh, absolutely necessary, but um, yeah, I'm pretty good right here. Let's go eye level. That's my eye level right here. Really can't see anything past the windshield wipers like on most cars. It does have a, it looks like some light factory tint on the back. Okay. I'd like to take this time, uh, since this has been detailed, we do have the auction sheet. Okay, uh, I like showing the auction sheet here, showing that it's a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan and it's a graded number four from the auction, okay? So there you go. So we keep these, give you a peace of mind knowing that it's not, it hasn't been in any accident, but it's also a good selling tool for you. After a few years, if you've had no accidents, you can tell that to the next potential owner of the vehicle that you've had no accident as a non-accident car from mainland Japan, okay? Show you a couple other things before we go to the back. Uh, you have your mirror controls on the right side of the dash here. Uh, you do have your gas cover release. Please don't forget that right down here. A little compartment for some coins or whatnot. And then underneath that, you, you do have your hood release. And then this does have a power sliding door that you can turn off with this switch. But uh, all you have to do is push that down. Wait for the beep to uh, go off. And then it opens. Push it again. Okay. All right, so let's turn this off. We'll go to the back seat, or the middle seat, I should say. Second row, I guess, and you do it. There you go. 
But again, I said I wouldn't slide that uh, seat forward because you can see how much space I have back here. And I did forget the armrest like always. Uh, I'm a good two and a half to three inches away from the back of the seat and my knees. Um, nothing as far as storage on both of the, or on the backs of both uh, seats. But you do have a, um, a compartment for a cup holder on each door panel. Uh, no center console or anything else like that. Now you can uh, move these seats forward with this, uh, this one over here. Okay. All right. I'm not going to make it all the way but you can go uh, farther if need be, okay? And then, um, just a cool feature here. All right, all right, that, these uh, stick, I don't know why uh, they don't nail that down or screw that down a little better, but you have a little compartment under here on both sides. Maybe you could hide some personal effects if you're going to the beach. You see how that, that whole thing comes up? Let me see if I just, there you go. That's how it's supposed to be, okay? Now, to get to the back row, all you're going to do is pull this. This is going to bring that up, and it just slides all the way forward, okay? Now, you can uh, put this seat underneath uh, in, in this space right here. That will fold on top of itself, and then it comes up and down right into this space, okay? And then you just push that back. All right, and there you go. I'll show you the back here real quick. And the handle is off center to the left. And there's your space. All right, you do have a little compartment here uh, for your, where your, all your uh, tools are for changing the spare tire. And this is the back space. So you can actually slide this forward a couple inches and still be all right uh, for your middle passengers. And then it does have a cup holder on each side for your rear passenger. Okay, let's go to the engine. Okay. Then we'll wrap this video up. There you have it, your good old VVTi uh, Toyota engine, nice and clean. All right, so there you go, 2009 Toyota Sienta. Um, just under uh, 99,000 kilometers on it, which again, about approaching 62,000 miles. Uh, military price goes down to 4,700. With additional military discount, we'll get this down to 4,500. That's going to include the two-year JCI, the one-year bumper-to-bumper warranty, the 2021 road tax, and the 10% sales tax are already included. Only thing on top will be your American insurance requirement, whether you're going liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you. As always, we encourage you to shop around, go out to other dealers, see what they have, and then stop by Johnny's Used Cars. Let us show what we have and what our program's all about. We are definitely making a difference because we are different. So stop by by, we'll show you why. Okay, um, but if you have any questions while you're out and about, then you're not getting the right information, go in and contact us. Information's free. We're always willing to assist you regardless if you're buying a car from us or not. Don't forget two ways to pay for it. U.S. dollars cash outright or take advantage of our 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Either way, we're good to go. So thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.